Estonia is a country which uh, regained its independence 30 years ago. In the 20th century, we're a really, really poor country. We couldn't build an average paper-based bureaucracy and thus we chose digital tools. We didn't also have the money to buy products from large-scale companies such as IBM, SAP or others. So we needed to invent our own. Estonia is very nature friendly, so people really love the nature. But the other side of this is that we also want to have all the services digital, and now 99% of our public services are already digital. The COVID pandemic for Estonia, I think, was a very good stress test because we, in a kind of, had preparing for that moment for 25 years. So when it happened, all of our governmental functions could remain intact. This meant collecting taxes, voting, decision-making, making laws and other things. Most of the business remained operational and could continue at business as usual. We want to go further. We want to you know, give these services also um, to residents outside Estonia. So we have e-residence program. People who are living elsewhere can also access our digital services. Um, they can uh, establish a company and, and run the company while they are not living here, but enjoy the services that we do. EO59 is called EO59 because Rapla, Estonia, where we're sitting right now, is 59.0000 degrees latitude north. It's one of the only GPS coordinates on the globe of a town that doesn't have a decimal place after the number. Radar on spaceships, it was actually one of the first Earth observation techniques in history in the 1960s. And what they needed to do was see through the clouds. On a cloudy day like today, how can you observe what's happening, right, with an optical spaceship? You can't. Well, if you take a radar system and glue it to a satellite, then you can actually observe the whole planet's motion in a day and you can see what's happening underneath it. Well, if you take those images and you stack them on top of each other, you can see how much something moves. Just a few months ago, many Americans will remember the tragedy in Surfside, Florida, where Champlain Tower South collapsed. The EO-59 was contracted to help support the U.S. government in determining how safe the surrounding buildings were and potentially determining the cause of failure of that structure. And our data was critical to that community in, in, in assessing that situation, data that we delivered from Estonia and Italy and the United States in a global effort to support America in a time of great crisis. Estonia legalized the testing of self-driving vehicles in 2017 March, uh, being one of the first countries in the world that could allow the testing of self-driving vehicles on all public roads in our country. This has provided us with about six or seven different companies that are currently building self-driving mobility solutions in our country. So we can see self-driving package delivery robots on our streets every day and it is become the new normal. Well, first and foremost, uh, our tax system and our economic climate with uh, no uh, tax payment on retained earnings you could consider that in every investment, into every company made, the government is also in with 20%. Because we will wait whether you succeed. And only when you succeed and start paying dividends, we will tax you. What was it that made Estonia so special? Well, it could have been the fact that there's no corporate income taxes. It could have been the fact that you can register a business in three minutes or that I can do my taxes in 10 seconds by pressing next five times, but that wasn't it. The reason I decided to stay in Estonia and do business here is because I love it here, and because it loves me, and because that love is the thing that carries any business forward. Small businesses are a nightmare. They're hard. Anybody who owns their own company knows that the whole entire thing is driven by love. And you start a company because you're passionate about it, because you care about it. And Estonia is a place that gives you that back a hundredfold. You just give to it one little ounce of love and you're going to get ten times back. I've met every sitting president in this country since I've been here, either at a cafe or at a conference, every prime minister. The government of Estonia always asks me, what can we do to help you? I don't have to reach out to it, it reaches out to me. And they come back with that help. So if you are trying to find that innovative edge, all you have to do is look at what it is that makes you you. And you can find a path to making a, a business that is more than just profits. 
Because after all, if the only thing that your company makes is profit, then that's a pretty poor business. Internet voting is something that we are very proud of. Uh, and I'm, I'm really surprised why other countries haven't taken this up. Uh, it also comes from the idea of, of this digital revolution. If people are more and more living their lives online, they're doing everything online, uh, socializing online, buying online, but the one thing that they can't do online is to elect uh, representatives to the parliament. So if they can't do it there, they just alienate from, from the state. In my government, half of the ministers are also women. So, so this is the first time uh, where we have a balance in the government. And I think it's a, it's a step uh, to the right direction. Uh, we see more and more uh, women in, in top leadership uh, positions in everywhere in Nordic countries. And Estonia is, is no exception to it. We have a small open economy and our businesses always think global. In addition, of course, we have a legally permissive ground for all things digital and AI. I think the future of self-driving vehicles is about actually a shared urban mobility scheme, which means that we can build very efficient mobility systems with about 20 times less vehicles as people are using nowadays. And this 20 times less vehicles becomes a kind of a common public infrastructure. I think we can provide a new model of governance for the whole world, which hopefully will be much more human-centric, much more close to nature, much more uh, creative, innovative, flexible and adaptive. Because one of the biggest problems the whole world is facing is that changes are happening faster and faster. Basically, when the steam engine was invented a while ago, it, it resulted in an exponential growth curve of ideas, people, and all these kind of things. What America was like 30 years after it was born, imagine a place that has the energy and the will to actually accomplish anything that it can dream up, and that's the one thing that we are searching for. The one thing that Estonia has that's so gosh darn special is that thing inside of all of us as Americans that cries out to us, hey, change the world. Well, you can do it here. Here is where you can change the world.